Ava says two days after she was born, her mother was arrested by the FBI for defrauding prospective parents, and Ava was raised by her father, Frankie. But Ava says that added up to being what she calls, quote, a horrible childhood, and she was scared to death of her father. My dad, Frankie, molested me from the ages of five to 12. If I wanted to get permission to do anything, to go out and play or join the basketball team, I had to agree to perform sexual acts on my father. My dad would come into my room almost every night. I would please him while he was touching my private parts. When I was 12 years old, I finally got the courage to go to the police. They just wanted me to testify against my dad. I just couldn't do it. I was still scared of him. They couldn't convict him without my testimony, so he went free, and I went into the foster care system. I want him to know he took my innocence. I'm just angry, and it's all because I've, I've never let this out, and I've never dealt with it. I'm mad, and I'm sad, and I'm hurt. I'm just madder than I've ever been in my life. Well, now, she's saying, she's saying that, that there, that she scared of me. Okay, is she scared of her mother? Well, Ava, um, Ava, I'm very, I'm very sorry that this has been your experience, and I'm very sorry that you've had to live with this. Is there something you want to say to Frankie? I just want you to finally own up to it. No, I couldn't I, testify against I, you I, all I those years nothing. ago because I, I would, don't cut me off. You've cut me off for too long. Don't do yeah. it. Don't do it. I mean, I don't want you to go ahead and speak. Speak all you need to speak. Speak all you need to speak. <laughs> I did not testify against you when I was 12 years old because you had you warped everybody that you had anything to do with. They was mind controlled by you, and you know it. I didn't testify against you because you scared me. I knew what you'd done to me. I didn't testify, but I'm here now, and you're not going to jail. I just want you to acknowledge it. You took my innocence. You took my trust for men, and I have tried for so long to put it behind me so that I can move on with my life, but I can't. And how many times has your husband told me things like that no, no, did no, no, not, no, did not, not happen? That's not what we're asking about. We're asking about did what you happen. did. So therefore, I can't admit to something that I didn't do. <laughs> Come on what? now. You're always so quick to blame somebody else. When she's sitting there telling you that she's afraid of you, you said, well, are you afraid she's, of your mom? She's got no reason to be afraid of me. I'm not afraid of you now. That's why yeah. I'm here. Yeah. She's got no reason to be afraid of me. Listen. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I mean, what, what you said in that tape interview right there, that didn't happen. What did happen? There was nothing happened there. Well, what did happen between you and... There was, there was an argument between us, mm -hmm. and there was misunderstandings between us and everything. But I thought until right now that she all of those all. mistakes and, and misunderstandings and everything were over, were done.